Oh heck, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, get out of here, you little brat. Okay, there's that. Oh my gosh, this is a biggie. This is a biggie. Oh my good word. This is what I get for trying to be nice to the little guys. I'm so sorry, Vexer friends, but if you're gonna turn on me, you're gonna turn on me. And here we are. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. If I had enough, if I had enough ability, I totally would try to stop this. I do not. Uh, okay. There's another sproutling. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, you brats. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, hello everyone. Uh... Nice day in Mosdesia for a corruption invasion, isn't it? Wait, what was that, Siri? It seems like the runic boulder is chan channeling ambient magic. Hmm, if our suspicions are right, we could use that to our advantage. Continue defending until what? There's a boulder is charging? Excuse me? Well, uh, but I don't know if that's a good ambient magic, you guys. Okay, and the pilferling is here, ready to go. Okay, please don't banish my beetles. Please don't banish my beetles. Bitterling, gotta get you out of here. Okay, Bitterling, I don't know if I got you. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh man, this is what I get for trying to have a nice, beautiful garden. This is what I get for trying to be nice to our little Vexer friends. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, no, it's not fine. Okay, get him, get him. Uh, oh boy, okay, let's see. Vexer, can I please, like, I, I feel really bad taking you out, friend. If you could just stop being corrupted, that'd be nice. Okay, I guess that's not, Get it. Get you little hold still, you brat. Okay, got that bitterling. Okay, and then. Okay, I just mass befriended a bunch of them. That was very satisfying. Okay, okay, null cat, be careful. Uh, all right, is there anyone over there? Not yet. Oh my gosh, this is chaos. This is chaos. Nemesis, you brat. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I can actually befriend some of these guys. Well, they're trying to attack us, but we'll find out if everything's gonna be okay. Boulder fully charged. Okay. I don't know how that's a good thing. Uh, residuum crumbling. Uh, 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 okay. All right, come here, you hold still. I mean, okay, I think we befriended him. Um, oh my gosh, this is absolute chaos. Oh my gosh, get away from my, my friends. Get away from my friends. No, Jurassic. Oh my gosh, I think he took out Jurassic Kid with that banishment. Okay, maybe what I need to do is I need to freeze them if if they're like pressed up against our friends. Okay, this is very chaotic. Okay, let's try freezing because I think that, oh, but is that gonna, Patsy, go be careful. Okay, there's the Vexer. You really have to like aim. Okay, there is. There's Sharon and a Pilferling are like kind of on top of each other right now. I'll have to come back in a minute. Okay, there's a Vexer. Oh dear. Eh. Okay, got the Pilferling. Uh, let's see. Random Vexer. Okay, befriended those two. Need to banish the Sproutling. I don't understand what it means by the bowlers charging. Does that mean that there's gonna be, oh my gosh. Is the boulder a good thing or a bad thing? Okay. Get out of here, you guys. Okay, I don't know why I wanted to restore that 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 noxidia or the residuum or whatever, but we won't worry about it right now. You know what? Now is just the time to roll up our sleeves and get rid of some weeds. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Okay, you get out of here. Get away from my friends. Wrote it on con Okay. Okay, that's my flower. Okay, I need to get rid of these things when I find them. Because at this point, I think oh, this is the worst we've ever had it. This is absolutely the worst we've ever had it. And there's so much of the stuff everywhere. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know, you think that they could warn a, a person if it was going to be like this. Just for trying to expand to some nice, shiny, evil looking boulders. The gnome, you feel like, you know, guys, at just one of our nice little family meetings over marmalade and cookies, you could, we could maybe have a conversation about, like, the levels of the risk. Oh my gosh. But if the boulder's charging, what does that mean? Am I supposed to do something? It, oh. Dear. Oh, my. 
Yeah, they're gonna have to wait on the mail until I finish getting this chaos scooped out because apparently I should have just done that the whole time. Good news is maybe we just managed to go ahead and we managed to like get a ridiculous amount of the red nectar. I don't think it's good news that I think Whiskey Fish the second hang in there. Please don't eat poison. Oh my gosh. It's definitely not a good sign that we we were missing a keeper. <laughs> we'll have to gather around and try to acknowledge the fallen in a moment. At the minute, I need to kind of keep an eye on what's crumbling with decay. Our keepers, ironically, seem to have covered everything pretty well. Um, I wish I had that corruption meter that I sold, but also I, I think that my own eye beans seem to do better. Huh. Wow. I'm a little concerned to check, but let's actually see. How is the keepers? Is that is that how we see our keepers? Also, Paint Seagull is sick. Hang in there, Paint Seagull. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I did we did we save Sharon? There's Jack. Jack, you are just so fast. Okay. Oh, that shows you like where the keeper zones are. Really nice and thick. Good, good, good. Uh, also, North Heart is sick. Hang in there, North Heart. The good news, if you can call it that, is we do actually have a ton, like a ton of um, the red nectar compared to normal. I think we have like 22. So on the one hand, that was a really like fruitful battle that if you were going to call, you know, using the red nectar fruitful, maybe that's some sort of meta commentary on the concerns of like nectar overconsumption for all I know. Um, huh. Do you have anything to say for yourself, keepers? Hmm. Uh huh. The boulders aren't just magical conduits, but seemingly sense and repel corruption. Interesting. Judging by our friend's reaction, we surely are on the right track, Siri. While you were busy, we perused the dirtiest library sections and managed to translate more inscriptions. We merely had to uh, cylindrically rotate each symbol by a multiples of 90 degrees corresponding to its index offset by seven. Don't you math at me, you little, you little cookie-eating fiends. You should have told me there was going to be something like that. It turns out the new boulder hosts hidden upgrade instructions. We've sent them to Faunus for analysis. P.S. We attached some spoils we found in the wake of the event. Well, uh, on the one hand, apparently, apparently, that is a good thing. Okay, and I'm glad I can kind of like see the darkness at night so I can make sure that maybe we're, we're curing the things we should. Okay, hang in there, you guys. I want everybody to be nice and healthy, okay? Uh... Huh. Okay. Well. That was mildly chaotic. Also, nature lover, you doing good? Okay, good. You looked all green and, and glowy. I guess that means that technically these boulders are supposed to help us, even though they sure look heckin' spooky at night. And why did the other one not light up then, I ask you? Hmm? Hmm? How come I, I, I were, did both of them light up and I just didn't notice? I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions. All right, Defender. Emboldening your keepers with a gentle aura that will banish nefarious creatures. Yes, all of you are gonna like get that. And, it, and, and you're gonna learn how to use it and you're gonna take good care of yourselves. And also that will help me go ahead and start feeling like perhaps I can doubt them a little less if they're pulling their weight at banishing things. And also, I I feel a lot less guilty if possibly something happens to somebody. If they happen to be sort of, you know, a little of column A, a little of column B. If you're working on a little duel between tiny itty bitty little wands, like little, I still love the idea of the gnomes using bubble wands. But if they have their own little duel, I feel a little bit less guilty if somebody has some incidences. Let's just say. Oh, all right, let's wait till morning and then we're gonna review what we can see about uh, Mercury's like goods. Ooh, and then Hortic Date, place the most vegetables. I wanna do that. That that sounds like healing. I tell you what, 
That sounds like absolute healing. Also, I love how the beetles are just ready to move in in abundance over here. We're just gonna name we're gonna name this beetle abundance. Or how about um what is the uh, cactus fruit? Cactus fruit? Or I guess this is like termite queen, actually. Because it's the queen of the termites. There you go, my friend. Alright. And then we've got a curious creature. Is that my Jeroba again? It's a bumble. Oh no, it's a bumblebee. Hi friend! Things were a little chaotic here, but like if you're sure. And Crystal Alpaca, let's make sure that you're not getting sick. Whew! Man, you have to like worry about everybody with these kinds of things. Um, in fact, let's name this bee is going to be named Sniffles because I'm worried about the gnomes getting sniffles. Whew. Okay, so what have we learned? Well, I'm placing a heckin' ton of vegetables in a second here and let myself have a little vegetable garden uh, that will make me quite happy. Also, I think we just learned about the Jeroba. Holy canoodles, that's gonna make me quite happy. They have eight animal power. They really don't like light and they don't like constructions, but they like having beetles around and they live in the desert with some insects. That seems to bode well for like maybe back here somewhere. Let's see. Maybe they need a little more foliage, but I think we could actually pull off a Jeroba back here. I would be very happy about that. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we can. <laughs> and I got an excuse to add more desert sage. My name's sake. Uh, well, really, actually, I wish it sounded that cool, but my parents just kind of named me sage because they heard it on a soap opera. <laughs> I've claimed greater power to the name myself. Whew, okay, so all of that out of the way for just a moment and celebrating that we might even have a little bouncing mouse friend living in our desert soon. Let's go and see, can we expand over here? Yes. We're gonna go ahead and expand and then we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna start getting this stuff down. A curious Jeroba's already here. You got no complaints from me, little friend. We've received a ritual scroll. What? Also, Bones, help me! I need your help, Bones. I've been waiting for you to come back so you can take care of the Vexers. <sighs> Holy moly, you found something very old, Siri. It looks to me like an old ritual dancing scroll. A truly cryptic one at that. If I'm correct, the scroll describes a magic dance performed by keepers of ages past. Sadly, I don't know much more than that. Hmm, I might actually have some similar ones lying around my scroll shelves. I couldn't possibly figure them out, but maybe yours is the missing piece? I'll see if I can dig them out. I'll be back soon. Bones. Bones! Bones, help, Bones! I need to somehow to like take care of all of this, and I could really use a little bit more. More on the assistance, just saying. Just saying. Oh, I forgot how if you start digging, stuff starts like popping out of the ground like buried ancient ruins that they are all right there we go we'll just have that going i'm kind of tempted to spend a whatever bit of our money we have uh fast forward the digging is already going as fast as it can there treasure hunting i wouldn't mind but let's actually see a with a cute <gasps> our Jeroba friend welcome oh my gosh i'm i'm gonna name you sage bush just because I can. Hi, little namesake. And then we have a beetle ready to move in as well. I guess this is going to be, how about the termite um, treasure? Can we have, let's see, a termite or how about the treasurer? For the queen. I, I have somebody's gotta count all those little termite eggs. Why not? Ah, all right. Let's see if maybe we're gonna be super ultra happy lucky and have a pumpkin for sale with Mercury, because I would love that. Mercury, my friend. No pumpkin? No pumpkin for me after everything we've been through. <sighs> all right. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and why don't we possibly I feel like I've seen all of these things already. 
So I worry if we go ahead and we just refresh, nothing will quite happen. So let me think. The red current provides foliage, fruit, shelter, and shade. The piranha... Why the heck not? We're gonna get the piranha. We're gonna ask Mercury to have some new wares tomorrow. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll learn something. And otherwise, uh, we should probably have a little mix of keepers. Probably have a little mix of the vegetables. And then we'll see if we can manage to snag ourselves a whole bunch more cats and a whole bunch more of the... Uh, like, I want cats and I want some of the rats. And if I'm gonna have a giant vegetable garden a giant veggie patch and try to make it like really cute and fun. I wonder if I should make like little garden areas and make this one a little bit more organized than normal. Cause that could be kind of cute. Oh, <gasps> another curious Jeroba appears. Oh, come here little friend. Oh no, really? Just when I'm getting, oh, okay. You're, I'm sorry. You're going to be the, the, uh, bad luck tale. <laughs> sorry, little one. Okay, well now the the keepers nature lover here you go I'm gonna give you a little heal the keepers should actually be like fighting a little bit for themselves this time Okay, there's one of the sproutlings got it out of the way. There's one of the there's pilferlings Okay Froze the pilferling got rid of it again need to get rid of this blightling and need to collect its stuff Okay, let's see. It's interesting because I think if I can get to some of these guys before they can... Oh, good! Crystal Alpaca, I'm so proud of you in March the 2nd! March the 2nd isn't going to go the route of March the 1st, it seems. Okay. Can I get rid of these Sproutlings? I should probably make magic cheaper for me to cast, and that will really help out. Because if I can get over here... Because we have friendly Vexers that don't seem to change sometimes friend okay sproutling sproutling because i could swear we have a lot more vexers than are currently like attacking but maybe i'm wrong or maybe this is just like a prisoner situation where it's like yeah actually of course we started pulling out our wands and like going going for it wait and taking them out ourselves now that i have armed my keepers <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'll have to name our keepers after our patrons once I pull up the name list. But it's been a little chaotic, to say the least, today. <sighs> oh, all right, let's see. Where, oh where, have my vegetables gone? Where, oh where, could they be? Let's go with um more leeks for a minute. Because that's, that's just what we're after. I love it. We've got two Curious Keepers that we can put down. Whew. All right, look, some days you just kind of want to roll over and you just kind of want to shake your head and say, well, that was a fine, how do you do? And I mean, at least I do, I don't know about you guys, but I feel comforted by that. Uh, also, there's, oh, Scorpion, eh? Look. I take back the just rollover part if there's scorpions, okay? <sighs> Have you found any scorpion information yet? Well, either way, it would be rad if you managed to attach one of those pokers. Attract one of those pokers. Um, while you create a scorpion habitat, I'll dig up one of my nectar catches. Thanks, Fauna. And also, hey, Bones. Oh, did you encounter a Sproutling? I swear I can smell something different. I'm currently dabbling with magic and am close to creating a spell for arcane seeds. I just need reference material. Can you let some Sproutlings drop their nether seeds to, for delivery to me? I'll share the resulting treat with you. With great sniffs, bones. P.S. Don't tell Faunus about my new hobby. They seem easily jealous. My eyes narrow in suspicion, and look, if I'm already apparently supposed to be full of regretsy beans about having allowed my keepers to lure me into whatever we're doing at the moment, so now I'm even more suspicious about everybody, and, and you want me to collect scorpions and, like, high details of magic experiments on corrupted... corrupted... D d like seeds with one another uh and also 
I need some help, Siri, so throw me a bone, will you? See, my chamber of peculiarities is still awfully vacant, but I can't sniff out any goodies myself. Somehow my nose keeps getting blocked. But I'd really could do with another delivery of corrupted to gather my knowledge. Maybe one of each minion that you've faced. I may learn something that would interest you. Bones, I have been waiting for you to please the heck take these little guys off my hands for a while. At this point, I'm not even going to question it. Like... I just wanted to hand over my gnomes to the Gnomish Witness Protection Program. I just wanted to hand over my gnomes to the Gnomish Witness Protection Program. Is that really, really asking too much of life? Really? All right, let's see. The kale is still the only thing that provides shade, which I find interesting. But let's see if Mercury is selling pumpkins today. Placo? Secrets of Garden Love? Huh. I'm buying that book. We'll get the stones out of the way because they've been here forever. And let's grab that Placo habitat. Thank you, Mercury. I now have no money. I didn't plan on... Wow, we haven't had that little money in a long time. But I'm very excited about the idea of having a piranha- a, Look at the Placo! <laughs> of course a Placo would love a catfish. Catfish or- the swamp? Are you- wait, swamp? Excuse me? Where's our salamander friend? We haven't seen her for a little while and I, for one, would not mind if I could possibly make a swamp. Like, hello? Hello? I- I could get some mud going. Is that what we need? Because I'm here for that. I'm totally here for that. All right. Well, still a little bit of a chaotic mess. We still need to, technically, expand to the other ruinic bol like boulders. But I'm beginning to wonder if I need to make sure that our gnomes can be my gnomish, like, garden gnome army. Especially now that I'm really concerned about the fact that apparently they get up to stuff, like weird stuff that I might need to be concerned about. Um, we can add in some more rats. What the heck? Well, at least I found one of my ritual squirrels, and I definitely suspect it belongs with yours. I realized that while you might be the final one in the sequence, while mine looks like the first one. At least that's what I'm assuming the page numbering means. Very exciting stuff! Look, I'm married to a historian. I understand somebody getting excited about ancient historic scrolls that you know what order they go in. It, it, yeah, I get it. Why don't you take a ride on the old deciphering side and try to figure out the first scroll while I continue my search? Good luck. Let's see. Secrets of Garden Love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by a sprout size animal, settling creatures in. Uh, unvaried gardens perform worse. Too bad! I am going to fight that forever. Uh, and then we've got the the ancient plant that we need to look at hmm and it's poisonous to my critters what okay we'll look at those ancient plants in a little bit here and then the ritual scroll number one remember that sometimes one has to place reality with a substitute befitting the same qualities always start from an unmovable place of cozy and knowledge always start looking out from the inside this is four words start one two three four don't go anymore Step in place and strike the pose. Frozen solid, just like stone. Hmm. I'm a little place of cozy and knowledge. Doesn't that... What? What? Uh... Oh my... Oh, 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 good me. Oh, my good gravy me. Ah, oh, complete the scroll tasks. Oh my gosh, there's just a lot happening here. <laughs> Isn't that just like going to a keeper's house and unmovable place, technically, of cozy and knowledge? Is that it? So is it like one, two, wait, I guess I would have to start this, the first one and be like one, two, three, four, maybe? Or is it the main keeper hut? Which one's the main main keeper hut? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Hi, Siri. I heard you performed well during the Hortic Day. Congratulations. I've been traveling a bit and was struck with some inspiration from Hostessia. How about adding a little swamp for variety? Swamps have unique flora and fauna that you don't want to miss out on. If you could just encourage some turtles to move in, I could provide the swamp water. I do not know what precisely turtles need more than sand and flowing water. Maybe you can figure out more from Mercury? It's nice to be writing you again. Your friend, Aura. What a life. What a life we've had. It's getting busy, but I'm not sad. As we've got a little beetle that's coming to move out here into the desert with us. And I think it, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I almost named it Mudball the Beetle, but. Oh, wait, what are those things? The, 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 they roll by and they're. Oh, what are they called? On in desert scenes, and they go by a little bramble thing, that that tumbleweed. Oh my gosh, tumbleweed! Tumbleweed the beetle sounds like a cute name. Also, hello keeper. We will name you from amongst our Patreon name list when I pull it up, hopefully next time. But right now, let me just plop you down. I still don't have a, Mercury. Give me some heckin. I just want some heckin pumpkins. I tell you what. But all right. So I think we have plenty of missions to keep us a little busy uh also i am kind of wondering which one is it the this cottage unmovable place of knowledge and cozy i thought it would be maybe the keeper's cottage and it's not the empty inside not the mailbox okay riddle me that riddle me this we're gonna have to worry about the riddles that we'll miss because <laughs> i think what we'll focus on next is working on getting the vegetables down and maybe expanding a little bit so that we can have a nice lovely swamp just waiting for us because uh that was kind of a lot to deal with i think and at the moment i'm sort of feeling like a a little bit a little bit like just tending to the garden for a second and looking for turtles we'll start there and we'll see what chaos we end up with next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.